Wow! Hi guys, welcome back to SV Blown Away. As you may have seen in the news, we've had quite heavy snowfall in Greece. So we've been in hibernation. But now the sun is back out, it's 17 degrees. And you're joining us back on the beautiful island of Meganesi in the Ionian Sea of Greece. In this week's episode, we are starting the installation of our autopilot. We are Natalie, Ian and Nelson. And we are emptying the money bank to fill the memory bank. So while our friends on the eastern side of Greece suffer with snowstorms, fortunately there's a mountain in the way before it gets to the Ionian and we only had cold weather. We didn't see any snow, which is fantastic because I am not a lover of snow. Jacket potatoes for dinner now. So with the heater cranked up and some jacket potatoes on the go, we camped out until the weather warmed up. Once the weather improved, we came out to get on with some jobs. We finally caved. Ooh. Yeah, it's where the old instrument pod was. So there was another piece of wood that used to live there that I replaced. And uh, <coughs> I think originally they were just instruments. Looking at the pictures that the previous owner, the, the original owner sent us. Those pictures show just instruments straight into the slatted pieces of wood. Yeah. So I think originally that's what was in there and then at some point somebody else has cut this out and put in instruments yeah. and then obviously I've come along and replaced the instruments and now we're about to do it again. 
that one of these planks up here is cracked. So that might be a possible ingress of water. We have had some water getting in there, haven't we? A lot less now the bimini's on, but we have had some. That's the main daisy chain cable. This instrument system so old. So I think if I connect that one, let's see that one's yellow. So this is the power supply and put short. I think if I connect that one into there and then that one into there. I think we should still have wind instruments. Can you uh, turn on navcom please? Yeah, we still got that, uh, we still got wind, that's cool. The other two are obsolete, I'm not using them again, but the wind I'd like to carry on using for the time being. So we have, so I just need to use those two. The rest are garbage. Okay, off. So from the old system, the speed, uh, the transducer, the paddle wheel, there's a plastic nut that goes on the back of it, which uh, split. So basically, like, basically what happened was the nut split and it allowed water into the forward sections of the boat slowly over time. Um, and eventually that leak gets bigger. And it took a while to figure out where the water was coming from because it was such a small amount. But once you figure it out, it's like, okay, we've got to get rid of that transducer because it's plastic and it's rubbish. So the speed went ages ago. Depth, depth. I replaced the Airmar um, sounder unit, the sensor that's in the hull. I replaced it and fitted a fish finder um, transducer, which gives us a better picture of what's happening on the seabed. So we don't use the um, depth anymore. So the only one that's actually in use is the wind instrument which is the same age i don't really want to replace it but at the moment i can't get another one of these a new one um so i'm temporarily either going to manage with without wind instruments or i'm going to put that one in somehow but i don't really want to cut the holes in case the new simrad is a different size These are the ones that stay in this cable. That's the one for the wind instrument. That's a power source for USB sockets. That's our radio uh, microphone cable. So I have three here. That. So this one's coming down into the um, inverter room here. This one. This one. Yep, pull it through. Right, that is a data cable from something, Windex maybe, or speed transducer or something like that. So wherever it goes, it's got to come out. I, want, I don't leave old cables on here. Let's get rid of them. Right, okay. And these two here, the other two go inside and come out by the water maker. One's the old transducer. And the other one's going to be the speed log. Okay, these two here. Yeah. These two? Yeah. That's it. One's for the speed log, the other's for the depth gauge that doesn't work anymore. Just take. So while Matt gets on with prep for varnish, I'm going to make a new instrument panel.
Uh, the epoxy has now gone off. So we've now got nice dry epoxy. And the front face of it. And we've had to um, cover up. Unfortunately, <laughs> rain in the forecast. And it has been raining. So once the weather improves, we'll take the plastic bags off. And we've managed to carry on with this on the inside of the boat, in the workshop. And this needs to be attached into here so that we can mount our instruments. And yeah, just waiting on some good weather again. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. And meanwhile, here's a little... And if anyone is interested, this is what I was trying to rectify with the drone. It keeps turning to the right. I can't stop it. I've calibrated it. I've reset all the settings. I've downloaded the firmware. I've done everything that they suggest. I still have the same problem. So if there's any geeks out there, sorry, computer tech, that know anything about this damn thing, please drop me a comment so I can fix it. Or else I have to buy another one. Thanks for watching, everybody. And a special thanks this week to Matt from the Jersey Lifeboat crew. Thank you for buying us a coffee. And if anyone else would like to contribute to our coffee fund, you can find the link in the, the comment section the under the video. Today, which I know this is what they're interested in. How did the teeth locker come out? Of course they're interested in my toilet pump. Oh.